Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is Shannon with Seve Shannon. Well, today I'm running this really late. Today is Tuesday Terror. Yeah, Tuesday Terror. No, um, I was just in the ER. Um, my pneumonia, um, is gone. Gone. Thank God. Gone. Out of here. See ya. I can finally get the vaccine. Hold on, let me fix this. Okay, yeah, I can finally get the vaccine. Thank God. It's gone. Gone. Goodbye. Adios. But yeah, so I'm happy about that. There goes my cat jumping up and down on me. I don't know what's wrong with her. But yeah, so today is Terror Tuesday. I knew I you knew I knew I wasn't gonna forget about y'all. Y'all know that. I ain't going nowhere. As you can see, I got my medical band. I got the EKG um stuff on me. But everything is fine. Um hold on, let me fix this. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, but everything is fine. Um my, my lungs are clear and Thank God, you know, I'm just having, like, after pain from the having a pneumonia. It sucks. But yeah, so let's get into why we're at this Terror Tuesday. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about a little-known Chicago land myth. Her name is Resurrection Mary, okay? Everything I've done, I've researched, like I tell you all the time. I am licensed. Once you're in my channel, you know I'm a licensed social worker, so I do research it also. Here it is. Okay, I'm just going to show you a picture that I copied of this Resurrection Mary. It came out really weird. See that? Wait. It came out really weird. I don't know if you could see it. I can't see it while I'm showing you. You see that? You see the little white figure? I don't know where this red and black, where these red and black lines came from. It was just really weird. I don't know. I don't want to scare y'all, but it was weird. But yeah, Resurrection Mary is a well-known Chicago um, myth that happens at a, it's it's about a girl who, let me see, I want to give you, from Justice, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago, very small suburb, not far away from Chicago, south, it's um, a few miles southwest of Chicago, and supposedly she roams that area looking for truckers, okay, and when she gets in the truck, in the trucker's truck, she tells them she needs a ride. And she brings them to a house, and then she tells them to bring them back, bring her back to the cemetery, and she disappears. Okay, it's crazy, right? But it's a real myth. If you go to that cemetery, you will see two handprints on the gate. You have to really look, but you will see two handprints on the gate. It's crazy, dude. Like, like when I was Mary Max husband's like, well, I have to show you something. I'm like, what well, you gotta show me? He's like, come out. And we went to the cemetery, and I looked at it. I said, he goes, you see them handprints? I'm like, yeah. It was, it just creeped me out. It creeped me out. Oh, I'm so swollen. Hold on. Hold on one second. I want to get, okay. I don't like the way my cheekies look. Okay, yeah, so. It creeped, it, it creeped me out. I was just like, dude, man, you know. But um, I'm going to read what it says in here, and then I'll give you my opinion. Okay, the Resurrection Mary is a well-known Chicago area ghost story of the vanishing hitchhiker type. A type of folklore that is known for many cultures. The urban legend is based outside of a Resurrection Cemetery in Justice, Illinois, like I said. And it's a few miles southwest of Chicago. Resurrection Mary is considered to be Chicago's most famous ghost. I mean, in Halloween, we talk about her. When I was a teenager, we used to look in the mirror and say, Resurrection Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. We also call her Bloody Mary. I'm sure you heard Bloody Mary. But yeah. Okay, since the 30s, 1930, several men driving northeast along Archer Avenue. Now, Archer Avenue is in a big street in Chicago. It's like where all the stores are and big, long street. It's beautiful. Um, well, right now, and it's like trash right now, but back in the day, it was beautiful. Okay, and it was it's several men driving northeast along Archer Avenue between the Willowbrook Ballroom, which is, I know where that's at. Willowbrook Ballroom was where they have, like, the weddings and the na 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 And Resurrection Cemetery had reported picking up a young female hitchhiker. The young woman is dressed somewhat formally in a white par party dress and is said to have light blonde hair and blue eyes. So she must be a pretty girl. Got the party dress on. The truckers see her like, ooh, look at her. I'm going to pick her up. Try to get me some. You know what I'm saying? Okay. There are other reports that she wears a thin shawl, dancing shoes, carries a small clutch purse, and possibly that she is very quiet. When the driver nears the Resurrection Cemetery, the young woman asks to be let out, whereupon she disappears into the cemetery. 
According to the Chicago Tribune, full-time ghost hunter Richard Crow has collected 3,000 substantial reports of Mary from the 30s to the present. So, instead of me going into all this, I just wanted to give you a little background on what I found on Wikipedia. It's actually in Wikipedia. There's an actual cemetery. So, this girl hitchhikes down the road, picks up people, catches them, has them drop off the cemetery, and she disappears. These sightings are supposedly for real. That's what the crazy thing is. This is really, you know, um, let me read a couple reported sightings, um... From the 30s to the 2000s, um, couple recent ones, um, there were said to be striking sightings in 1976, 78, 80, and 89, which involves cars striking or nearly striking Mary outside Resurrection Cemetery. Mary disappears, however, by the time the motors exit the car. There's one sighting, couple sightings. She's also reportedly burned her handprints into the route iron fence around the cemetery, in August of 76, all the officials at the cemetery have stated that a truck had damaged the fence at that and that there is no evidence of a ghost. Now, I've seen it. There's the fence. Look at that. You can see it. I've seen this. It is actually handprints. Who the hell are they kidding? I believe in this paranormal stuff. You know what I mean? It's it's there. I This, this can't be all this paperwork that this, this person does not exists, you know, so, um, uh, let me see if I can get a, a closer one to us, uh, okay, um, in January 31st, 1979, um, an article of the Suburban Trib, Ralph was a, was a trucker, he picked up a young woman, a looker, a blonde, she was young enough to be my daughter, 21 tops, near a small shopping center on Archer Avenue, a couple miles up Archer Avenue, there she jumped with a start like a horse. And she said, here, here. I hit the brakes. I looked around and didn't see no kind of house. Where, I said. And then she sticks out her arm and points across, across, across the road to my left and says, there. And that's when it happened. I looked to my left like this to, at this little shack. And when I turned, she was gone, vanished. And the car door never opened. May the good Lord strike me dead and never opened. Now, come on, this is this guy, Ralph, saying it. He sounded sick and scared. You know what I mean? It's it's crazy. I've heard stories where she was walking down Archer in a white, beautiful dress, talking, picking, doing her little hand, picking up hitchhikers, saying, I have to go home, I have to get my purse for the prom. And people would drive her. These, these horny-ass hitchhikers would let her in the car thinking they were going to get them some, you know what I mean? And she would disappear. She never killed anybody, though. They never said she ever killed anybody. It's just a real, real popular ghost story. Um, I'm trying to see if I got... I did pull up some comments and that some random people had made. Um, this is by um, Natalie. She said, I'm really scared of ghosts. Should I really be also watch this show? It's awesome. I want an, I want... I watch an escape. I don't know what that means. Um, here's, um, Ants in My Pants said this. Whenever friends, or I, whenever friends or I would drive by, which, which was pretty often, we was all, we would always try to catch a glimpse of her. Never did, but good legend. Um, Maggie said this. I used to think it was Anna too, but Anna died when she was only 12. Girls back then in the area usually dated or married around age 16 to 25. Anna had short blonde hair, was petite and slim. She had a sister, Sophie, who had longer hair, same color, with a similar build, who was 16 at the time. Anna died, also injured in the same wreck. I'm wondering if it was Sophie who was the ghost. Nobody really knows who Resurrection Mary was, the actual ghost, like what her name was. Because there's so many other girls back in the day that did die, you know, so they don't know. But uh, let me see if there's a name in here. Uh, Identity of Mary. Some researchers have attempted to link Resurrection Mary to one of the many thousands of burials in Resurrection Cemetery. A particular focus on these efforts has been to Mary Brogovi, who died in 1934. Also, her death came in an automobile accident in the downtown Chicago Loop area. Um, Chicago author Ursula Belisky in 1999 documented a possible connection to Anna Mary Norcus, who died in 1927 auto accident while on her way home 
from O. Henry Ballroom, a theory which has gained popularity in recent years. So they've made many movies about this Resurrection Mary. Um, like, just different, like, Prom Night, Hello, Mary Lou, um, different, like, paranormal movies, you know, that they have, but it is a real legend, and if you do visit Chicago, I would suggest you go into Justice and visiting Resurrection Cemetery, because I'm telling you, this ain't no joke. I am scared when I go down that, that, that road. Back in my day at Halloween, we would drive down there just to see if we would catch a glimpse of her. You know, a lot of people, like, if they want to see this, this woman... You know, but like back in the day, these truckers out there were getting lucky, shoe. They were old, ugly. You know what I mean? I'm not saying truckers are ugly, but I'm saying these, these were perverted men picking up a little kid. Apparently, you gotta be perverted to pick up a little teenage looking girl. You know, and flirt with them and think, you know, she's gonna go with you or whatever. You know, it was just, it's crazy, this legend. Then when you go there, you actually see Prince on the damn gate. That's what trips me out. You see Prince on the gate. But what it is is they can't pinpoint her identity. You know what I'm saying? But it is Resurrection Mary. If you do want to link up and look her up, look up on Wikipedia. That's where I got all my information. Wikipedia and Unsolved Mysteries. I got all the comments. Here's all the comments that people have made. Here's a picture of the actual cemetery. The entrance. There's a picture of the gate. You can see the gate. You can see the little burn mark. So hitchhikers and everybody out there, don't pick up any strangers, especially if they're wearing a long white dress in the Chicago area. But yeah, so that's it for this terror, Tuesday terror. It would have been a little better, but like I said, I've been sitting in the ER. Here's where they took my blood. I was in the ER till about 8 o'clock, and I knocked out. That's why I look horrible right now. But I said I got to get this out to y'all because y'all love me. Yeah, so, um, but till tomorrow. Let's see what we got tomorrow. I do have a couple hauls for y'all. Oh, um, and yesterday was Women's Day. Happy Women's Day to all my beautiful queens. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, I'm going to do Wednesday Women instead of Wednesday Wellness because I had Medicine Monday. So I'm going to do Wednesday Women, so we're going to switch that up. And we're going to talk about women's topics and, you know, just life as being a woman, you know. Y'all know it's hard out her. But, yeah, so I have a little um, birch haul, birch box haul, and I have a Dollar Tree haul. So I don't know if I'm going to wait till Friday Fun Finds, which I probably will do a little bit. On, you know what? Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of a haul on Thursday because Thursday's tell-all. And then Friday Fun Finds, I'll give you a little bit of a haul. So tomorrow will be Women's Wednesday, and I'm going to look up. Something we could talk about, women. Mm hmm Little topic that us little girls could talk about and have our little coffee, too. Where's my little Nomi cup? Oh, look what I found. I was cleaning out my cabinet. Nomi for the holidays. Yes, my little Nomi cup. I found the gnome. Yes, I found a gnome. The gnome, the gnome, the gnome, the gnome, the gnome, the gnome, gnome. Yep, let me show you a glimpse real quick of what's coming up in the hall. Oh, it's... My, my daughter must have took it out, but it's the flag, the gnome flag. I got the gnome flag. All right, well, that's it for y'all. If you like this content of my channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, and show Savvy your support, and leave a comment, and tell me what I could do better, or what y'all want to talk about. I love y'all. Stay blessed. What am I going to say? Stay sweet. Stay beautiful. Stay safe. And most of all, stay savvy. Bye. Mm -hmm.